Another property about light that we ought to consider is we're well aware that because they propagate out like waves, we can imagine these waves seen from, well, let's just call it overhead for lack of a better term. It's almost as if you took a rock and dropped it into a pond of calm water, the waves from the rock will ripple out and light waves ripple out in much the same way. But this means that as the light wave gets farther and farther from its source, it therefore becomes weaker and weaker. Uh, try to imagine positioning your eye on the left, eye, left side of the diagram. Well, if, you, if your eye had moved close to the source, you're going to get a significant fraction of that light wave entering your eye. And so therefore, the source is going to be relatively bright. But if you position your eye toward the very edge of the screen, toward the left-hand side of your screen, you're going to be catching a really small portion, a rather tiny fraction of that wave, and therefore the light is going to appear dim. And this is why, whenever we consider street lamps, we know in this example that all of these street lamps have the same intrinsic brightness. In other words, they're all the same wattage, they all emit the same amount of light every second, but because we are farther away from the most distant lights, their light waves ex have expanded quite a bit since they left their home lights some time ago, and by the time they reach our eyes, they therefore appear to be much fainter, much weaker. So this means that light obeys an inverse square law. So as light is radiating away from a source, its energy is going to spread out over an ever greater area. So in our diagram here, we have three distances. We have uh, the first distance r, the second distance at twice the value of r, and our third distance at three times the value of r. Now if you take a look at the area that capital letter A at one distance unit away, or one r unit away, we can count nine photons passing through this initial square area. However, by the time we've doubled the distance, we now need four times as much area to capture the nine spreading apart photons. And by the time we get to three times its distance, we now have to invoke nine square areas to capture those spreading photons. So this is the inverse square law in action. As the distance increases, the amount of energy that you receive at any given unit area, any given single one of those squares, is reduced by a factor of 1 over the distance squared.